Hello everyone, welcome back to part 7 of the Resident Evil 3 Remake playthrough. I'm Mr. J Plays. Uh, if you've been following along, in the last episode Carlos saved Jill's life by giving her the vaccine. Uh, he did defend her as she was laying on this bed right here from a zombie horde that was breaking in. Uh, once we got all that straightened up, there was a news report that the government was going to basically nuke the city. Uh, Carlos went off to find a stockpile of vaccines that Dar Dr. Baird uh, had stashed away, and now apparently Jill's gonna go find Carlos. Uh, so let's see how this works out. Ah, uh, yes, the burst handgun. Exactly what I need to conserve ammo. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. Suck, Terrell. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself, you crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. You do you, Beard. So I mean, am I. Terrell. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. Terrell, you saved the day. underground beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. Carlos is in trouble? How else will I get my date? I did not leave myself anything to pick up as Carlos. I do have this. Alright. Two for two on ammo. Hell yeah. I do remember this being locked, so now I can finally open up all those locked doors I was passed by earlier. <clears throat> well, I guess that goes... Is there any... There's a couple boxes I know I can get. Okay, so after a bit of running around, we did find something pretty cool. We found the mag. Uh, so, we do have that now. We also found quite a few bullets. And some health items that are stuck in the box. So now we're gonna go underground finally and see what's going on with Carlos. We found an ominous door. And an elevator? No, not an elevator. I am wholly suspecting Nemesis just to be down here. a lot of doors. Oh, this must be the way underground. Umbrella trucks. Alright. Beep, beep, boop. Going down with a truck. Wow. These cars are still on. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Nobody pays attention. Or they're getting paid a lot of money. Took like that herb. What does this button do? Scissor lift? Yes. I apologize if I sound like poop. My allergies are kicking my butt today. Up. What a cavernous facility underneath the hospital. Ha! Huh. Yes, that little, little guardrail would totally stop yeah. anybody. Oh, safer. Ooh, file. Sub generators restore power. <gasps> New fanny pack. Yes. All right, save complete. Let's go on. Nikolai. Hey, buddy. I feel like he would have looked. <sighs> Nikolai is the cause of all our... 
What? Oh, I guess we'll go down right here. <clears throat> he hasn't noticed us yet. A lot of dead scientists. How did you not know? Nikolai. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. <clears throat> you think this is over? He seems to think so. Oh my god, you look like Golem. Is it regenerating? Oh no. Oh no, not the regenerators. Oh. No. The worst. The worst. Yoink. Usually with equipment, that would just turn off something that I could use. Like, cool, you got an elevator fuse, but now that lift I just went down doesn't work. Or we turn the lights on. This looks like the container for Jurassic Park. <sighs> Nikolai, calm down. Oh, there's a dog. Oh my god, no. Come on. Nikolai, that is getting excessive. I need you to stop. You could have hurt somebody. You said it was a game. Boop, boop, and boop. A dead end. No, wait. No, we can squeeze through. As the other thing. Side comes crashing down, and then, you know, that's it. No more Jill. Anything over here? Scissor lift. Welcome to Resident Evil, the game of scissor lifts. Ah. Too shake it. Oh. Oh no. Fall down. I thought you could knock him down. That's fine. Regenerate. I'm okay with that. Male, male, six male, nine female. Sir, my nurse. Surely there's something good in here. Like the safe room. That's good. Kind of. Except for the fact that there is the regenerating zombie now basically in my safe room. Gunpowder. Oh no. Ooh, I knocked his face off. Nikolai. Oh, I'm hurt. Uh, I'm hurt. Alright, Nikolai. You're not stopping me too much. I'm getting my fuses. I thought that was a key. It looked like one of the like zip ties. Oh! Can't come in here. Zombie free zone. Let's see. 
Ha ha, faked you out. No fair. You're running from me. Come on, Jill, just drop down. Just every other game. Just drop down. Alright. So we're gonna make the scissor lift go back up. What does that do? Brings that up. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> to make had the same like puzzles that the first one had. The first one had some really like, difficult puzzles. Cool. Well, we just go ahead and combine that. Do y'all remember the puzzles from the first one? Like figuring out the spike trap with the suit of armor that pushes you into it. The levels of the fluid that you needed? Or was that two? Two was the one where you had to balance the fluid levels. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I missing here? I finally, after a little bit of running around, I finally found out where we're supposed to go. See, what they missed is if you run across these, cool, yeah, and over where we found the gunpowder, over there, we can loop around and boom, ladder. Lights shining on and everything. Must be that day quill. Oh, something's in there. Will I do that? Oh, that is a lot. for that upbeat ooh yes alright anything in this cage pen container they're shipping this and he's a hell of a shipping label I wonder if these are the ones like they take to Africa Final or not Final Fantasy Resident Evil 5 that's where the B.O.W.s that got over there. So now they did research on them. Alright, so we are going to loop back through the safe room real quick. Save, and we're going to appear back at the fuse box. Surprise, just like that, we're at the fuse box. And these guys got spiders on their hands now. 
Sneaky sneak. No, nope. definitely put that in. Yes, and we want to get up now. With the weird spider hands. Make a line. Where are you? Shit, he got away. Oh, another, another save room. Cool. What was Nikolai doing in here? Unfinished log. Infiltrated, disturbance of spread at commencing mission. Observed five RPD officers engaged in pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test running at university. Diverted pack canines to campus. 64% infection conversion in two hours. No survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV, MV platoon will make first attempt at dawn. <laughs> Diverted pack toward command post. Resolved night skirmish in confined area with a large number of combatants. Video attached. In the skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapons pursuing. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female JV has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons and seems to be strongly fixated on terminating JV, which is Jill Valentine, and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphs in the bio have been triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. JV is infected and is non responsive. Collected samples per orders. Or 17 hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered administered to JV by CO. A soldier in MV platoon. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. It seems clear the bio weapon is Project N, which is Nemesis. Contact with Jill causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. <laughs> Nikolai, you bastard. <clears throat> Nemesis. Jill. Oh, Tyrell. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. Oh. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Good God to rip. My man. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. And Carlos? I hope Tyrell's not dead. Do it. Why are we not running, Jill? Sure, you don't need to stop. Well, I can stop do that. Do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Apparently, the fastest way is to through the hall. No. No. Time out. No. Keep going. We're almost there. No. 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 Nemesis, you dick. I like Terrell. That's some bullshit. Well, guys, Terrell didn't make it. Some hot bullshit. Good job getting disinfected, Jill. You let Tyrell die. But <laughs> pretty soon this will be commonplace to get into a building. Oh. Looks like the red alert's going off. I don't have a key card. I can go upstairs or I can go in here. Safe room. I got a herb. I got a herb. Herby herb herb. And notes. Objective of the T virus research, research facility. Eh? 
the objectives of this T virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real world cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. And a map. Cool. There's a box. Salt right one, though. And gunpowder. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end up, wrap up episode seven here. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, if you like what you see, you can stream me a thumbs up. If there's something I missed that you want to let me know about, leave me a comment down below, and I will see y'all in the next one.